Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. You are watching for take. Last time we reviewed the latest build of Super Heroes 14, 11th February. At the same time, developers released the new series of Super Heroes custom ROM that is Super Hero OS Extended and 14 builds, which has completely different look and the add-ons as compared to the original Super Hero OS. So today in this video, we will quickly show you how to flash this build over Super Hero OS 14. What are the major difference between the normal Superior OS and the Superior OS Extended version? We will check out the difference in the different parts that is the user interface, new features that are not available in the normal Superior OS, old Superior OS bugs that were resolved in this new build, performance comparison between the both the variants of the ROM and finally at last we shown the bugs and the missing features present in the Superior OS Extended with my final verdict. So watch this video till the end without skipping any part. Now without further ado, let's get started. On the new adventure. On the new adventure. If you are already using the Superior OS 14 build, just boot back to the stock recovery and do a DB side loading of the ROM using the PC and reboot without formatting data. This will update your normal Superior OS 14 to the new extended version without data loss. Please watch the full flashing process shown in the old video. So my device started to boot into the new Superior OS extended boot animation which looks cool as compared to the normal Superior OS. Let's check out the about phone details of the device. About phone has the complete details of the device like its processor, battery, capacity, screen and the storage details. This is Superior OS Extended official version. Android version is same Android 14 with the Google's new Android 14 easter egg. Maintainer of this build is the same Optimus Prime. Security patch is same as normal Superior OS it's of 5th February 2024. Kana version is also same it's 4.9.337 Primus. Build data prom is 11th February 2024. So about details is completely same for the both the ROMs. So what are the differences? Let's start with the user interface. QS Panel has the extended mode for some types like the Bluetooth internet to quickly check the connected devices. If you go to the setting, it has completely different look. It has the big setting header for the about for details. You can add the multiple users and currently logged users can be seen at the top of the setting. It's a customizable setting that we will check in the video under the customization timeline. Setting panel has the one you are like 100 mode, where setting has some blank space at the top so you can easily access the setting without using the 100 mode. Different options under the setting has the new animated user interface at the top which looks cool. Let's check out which are the new features who gets in this build. Under the miscellaneous setting of the Super Red Lab who gets the new ambient text setting. By using this, who can able to add the text on the always on display, who gives the animated effect and the colors to the text also, who can align the text to the top right or the left side or at the center. This is how it looks on the always on display. Similarly like the text, who can add the ambient image, always use the black AMOLED wallpapers on the AOD to avoid the screen burn issue. In the same incident setting, who gives the option to remove the new header image, so we guess the old style of the setting panel that is available in the normal Super Hero OS. We can also able to change the setting headers. Some of them has very nice looking animated header. You can check them as on the screen. Another toggle called as the charging animation enables this new charging animation when you connect the phone to the charger. For power menu now you can enable the more transparent look which gives the different look to the power menu setting. Under the theme setting you get some new user interface style presets which gives completely different look. If you are using the OnePlus 60, then you will get lots of different under display fingerprint animations. Volume panel also has the different sets of style which are giving amazing UI look to your device. <music> the 
By using the battery bar setting, you can enable the battery level indicator bar at the top of the status bar, who gives the different option to change its color for the different stages of battery levels. In the QS panel customization, now we got the presets for the QS panel called as the combined QS element style. You can check them in the video. Header images for the QS panel back again, we can use the different sets of header images which gives the amazing look to the QS panel. Under the button setting, you get the volume level percentage indicator which is pretty useful feature. So instead of all these new superior lab customizations, superior launcher has the different customizations. In that, I specifically liked the recent panel shortcuts taskbar and the hidden and protected app setting. Now let's check out some old bugs fixed in this build that were present in the normal superhero OS. Hey Google voice activation is now working for both the on screen and the off screen mode. Even you can use it using the home screen widget or by swapping from the edges of the screen. All the camera bugs are solved in this build, everything is working fine. As this is the official ROM, who gets the OT operator under the system setting and it's working. Now let's check out the performance of the ROM. It's a super smooth ROM similar like normal super arrows. Apps opening, closing, switching between applications are buttery smooth. RAM management is also very good. If you check the Geekbench results for the single core and multi core, we got the score of 564 and 2098, which are higher than the Geekbench database, while normal super arrows has the results of 563 and 2064. For the OpenGL and Hukun graphics, we got the score of 2253 and 1930 respectively. Old build has the results of 2256 and 1992. So both the normal Super Heroes and this new Super Air Extended has nearly same Geekbench values and the real lab performance is also same. Now it's time to show you some minor bugs and the missing features. Under the miscellaneous features of the Super Air Lab, who gets the smart pixel setting, to shut off the screen pixel to save more battery. But it's actually not working at all. It's a pretty useful feature when our device battery is going to die. Another missing feature I found in this build also is that Android 14 new AI emojis and the emojis wallpaper setting is still missing in the wallpaper and style setting. Except these two minor bugs, I don't found anything deal breaking about the ROM. It's super stable. So that's it about today guys, I definitely recommend the Super Air extended version over the normal Super Air OS because it's offering all the best things of the normal Super Air OS with the, some new amazing add-ons, customizations and the bugs fixes. If you liked my work then please do like and share this video, subscribe our channel, press the bell icon for the notifications of our upcoming content. Thanks for watching, see you next time, take care, bye bye.